Hey, what's going on everybody? DB Speed here and welcome to an exciting new episode of Ready, Set, Shoot. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Next time, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Let me tell you a little bit about what we got going on. We have some green screening going on. We have some action elements going on. We have some color correcting. All of these things that we can all take and put into making this project pop. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing that you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you get your, your footage keyed out. Use whichever key program you use. I like to use key light, but pretty much what happens is I'll take all of them off. I have my green screen footage. And then I'll take and add a couple of smaller keys on it. So the way that you really want to do it, you, if you key it out little by little for like each shade of green, you get a better key, and then it doesn't suck up too much um too much of your um, memory on your computer. So that way it moves a little bit faster. So after you finish all of that, you drop a key light on it. I dropped the key light on it, which unfortunately is not registering. So I got to start over so but you get close to the edge what I like to do is get close to the edge and just like that is gone but well, make sure that you switch your view to, to screen map switch your view to screen map and once you do you'll see it two-tone black and white now what you want to do is you want to get this completely white you want to get the solid white and you want to get this completely black so the way to do that you go down click on your screen map and then we're going to drop the whites and you notice that the spillage in the inside is, is, is completely solid now and you gotta drop it so much and then the black we're going to bring it up and you'll notice that it starts taking it away a little bit more um we can crunch it a little bit more to try to get it a little bit better there you go so now you have a solid solid look more of like a silhouette and that's what you want you want that solid that solid look right there we don't have to worry about the edges because we got that masked up so now we can go back to our final result and you see that's properly keyed out now only other thing that's kind of getting me right now is that you see the outline there's an outline on me and we want to get rid of that outline so i like to drop this down like maybe negative point three and then you see get rid of a little bit of it and then I'll turn the replace method to hard color and what will happen is it is basically going to put this color this shading on the outside so now you can see that the outline is a little bit smoother all right so now that we have our footage well let me bring the resolution up. well you can pretty much see it and just bring the resolution up to half resolution god look at that face Look at that face. Now that we have our footage all put together, we have it keyed out. So now it's time for us to throw in our background. So what we'll do is I have a picture of a dark alleyway. Just drop that in. And then soon as all right. So now that I have this picture of this dark alleyway. Now I can just drop this in now. Size kind of does matter. Oh God, that did not come out right. Size. <laughs> Size does matter in a sense. You do want to make sure that the resolution of the picture is pretty high, but in this case, for what I'm gonna do, it doesn't really have to be because I'm gonna um, be throwing an overall blur on it. So that way it gives a little bit more depth of field, give it more of a natural look, like a natural camera look. So one thing that we want to do is drop our footage in. Um, let's make it a 3D layer. We can also make um, our shooting layer a 3D layer. And then what we'll do is we'll take and push the picture all the way in the background. So we just want to get it far back. And then once you get it all the way back, you can scale it out. And it looks about good right there. It's about somewhere right there. I'm going to use the fast blur. Now I'm using um, After Effects CC's 2017. And I know that the old fast blur that they had. So they don't have that back where they used to have it. They So they took it and they actually moved it into from blur shopping. So now you see they just have the regular. They moved it to obsolete. Now 
I'm not sure why, but um, you can still use it. You definitely can still use it, but I just like to use it because it doesn't take, takes up a lot of power on the computer, but we just drop a nice little blur in it. Um, you can even over exaggerate it if you want a little bit, not too much, just, you know, just a little bit. Sweet. So now that we have that on there, um, let's go ahead and look into as in adding our muzzle flashes. And then after we do that, that's when we can kind of like start tweaking everything to make it a little bit more realistic. Okay. <laughs> 